here's my latest project. It's a 16 by 8 square from Corprint Castings. Um, I forget, I think it was like $120, something like that. The only uh, thing I was surprised about was the shipping. It was almost $55 shipping. They only use FedEx. They can be a little expensive on shipping. Um, anyway, so the idea is I'm going to uh, machine both of these faces here and then all three sides. And once they're machined, then I'm going to take it over to Chuck Bomberito's uh, outside screwball and go on his grinder and grind it. And then I'll bring it back here and scrape it. I'll scrape these three sides. I don't think I'll scrape the uh, flats here. One interesting thing about this is the angles, you'd think that this would be a 30, 60, 90 triangle, but it's not. It's a 25.4, uh, 63.6 angles here. So you can't use it for, like I said, a 30 or 60. It'll just, uh, this will be a precision angle. Um, and then I'll, I'll just scrape these others flat so you can use them as a uh, straight edge. So the idea here is I'm going to, I've got uh, a couple of lining bolts here. And I'm going to lay it down like this. And then I'm going to machine this side, flip it over, machine the other side. And then um, I'm going to set it up on some one, two, three blocks. You'll see that. I'll show that setup before I do it. Now I've calculated the feed and speed. I'm machining this cast iron, and it should be 500 RPM and 4.8 inches per minute. So I'm going to try that. Um, see how it works. Now the the thing about castings is sometimes you can get some really hard surface scale. Um, this one looks like it's been uh, sandblasted pretty good. I don't see any obvious scale, but uh, it could be in there. And sometimes that'll, it can chip your mill. Um, we'll see. Okay, now what I'm now hoping to do is just run it um, directly over to here. It's a nice thing about having CNC is uh, you can run in a straight line at an angle. So, see if I can do that. Okay, here's my setup for doing the edges. I've got it on one, two, three blocks. And what I'm gonna do is this edge here and this back edge here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it so that this edge is parallel to the table 
and do that. I'm not going to try and machine this all the way around in one shot because this edge is not a critical angle. So. Hopefully, that's going to work. Okay, this is my final setup. I'm going to be doing this edge here. So, it doesn't have to be, there's no specific angle, so I'm not worried about it. I'm just, I put it up against a couple of uh, pins on my table here, which I know are fairly straight. So, I'll get it straight, but uh, like I say, there's no, angle to worry about. Alright. Okay, I'm all finished machining. That's what it looks like. And that's my machinist square up against it. And you can almost, very little light, almost see no light. Little bit. So I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Looks pretty square to me. A little bit at the top. So this machine I did it on, this Bridgeport I had uh, rebuilt by uh, j &L Machining in San Leandro. And uh, they did the table and the ways, the saddle, um, pretty much the whole nine yards, hand scraped it in. And then after that I did the CNC conversion. So I'm, I'm sure it's square within a thou or so. It just comes down to your setup. Now it did seem to flex a little bit when I was uh, unclamping it. So I don't know how square this surface is to this surface. Um, that's yet to be seen. It's hard to tell hinging on this table, but... Uh, I'll take it over to Chuck, see if there's any way we can grind this. I don't know if he's got the fixture ability, but uh, we'll give it a try.